thank you for stopping by carnivorous plants hub uh, real quick before we get to this video i just wanted to share with you that one day i have a dream of opening a carnivorous plant nursery in my community uh, you can support that dream by subscribing to my channel or giving my video a like any little thing helps uh, thank you so much for being here i appreciate you more than you know i really hope you guys enjoy this video thanks hey guys uh, welcome to carnivorous plants hub um i just unboxed uh, if you want to watch me unbox these cool plants, um, check out the a link in the description. Uh, you can definitely check me out doing that. I unboxed it and kind of showed you all these, but I'm going to show them to you again here. And I'm actually going to go ahead and do a quick video on repotting these. I wasn't sure if I was going to do that, but I decided to go ahead and uh, show you uh, the repotting process with this uh, sphagnum moss that predatory plants shipped these in. So I ordered a couple of new Nepenthes here from predatory plants. We got this Spectabilis vici here. Show you the tag in the plant. Let that focus here. It's nice plant. It's got a nice little picture on it already. It's leaves are nice and green. The other one here is the Spectabilis platicilla. I'm not 100% sure I'm saying that right, but I'm doing my best. Uh, this one's got a really cool picture on it already. Look at that. Focus there. That's beautiful. Oh, this is going to be a cool one. I'm really excited. And there's a new picture there. I don't think it's focusing very good. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not sure why that's not focusing very good, but... There we go. Now it's focusing. Sorry about that. So there's, there's the picture. There's the newer one and the more established one there that's really cool and then we got a couple of sundews so we got a, a venusta here a drosera venusta see this one's already got a couple of little um, bugs on it that it's already caught beautiful little sundew and then we have a more of the green variety which is the uh, cacacolis and I don't know if I'm saying that right but its nickname is the alba but check this guy out look at it. its beautiful green color Come on now. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful color for that little plant. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys sort of the process of repotting these in the sphagnum moss, the long fiber sphagnum moss that comes uh, in the shipping container with uh, your plants. We get these cool little plastic, I guess they're not cool, but they're little plastic planters. These will be great for the first little bit uh, uh, for these plants and then they'll eventually be moved into something a little bit bigger, especially the, the Nepenthes will probably put them in sort of some sort of hanging pot. But really guys, the process is here. I have a bowl of water, not just any water though. This is distilled water. You can use rain water. Uh, just make sure you're not using any tap water unless you've tested your tap water and it's under I think it's like 50 parts per million or something um, But most tap water is not going to work for these guys They have too many minerals and these carnivorous plants do not like their minerals. So uh, we need water that is um, Completely distilled distilled water is super cheap to buy like at a, at a Big box store you can get it for like 50 cents a gallon or like 70 cents something like that. So uh, let's go ahead and put this in here with the distilled water just so we can get this soaking a little bit. Um, this stuff really soaks up water, but it does take a minute. Uh, it's kind of hard to get it to soak it up. So you just got to kind of get it in here, have it soaking up that water. And then what we're going to do is once this really gets soaked into the water or the water gets soaked into the, the sphagnum moss here, it's getting there. It's getting there. I took a little more water than I expected, which is just fine, because I have more. Okay, so now guys, what we need to do, this is nice. I'm pull this apart a little bit just to make sure the water got all the way through. Sometimes it doesn't quite get to that middle part. There we go. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to take our first plant. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna move this box off here so I can have a little more room. This table's not very big get a bigger table for doing all this stuff but okay let's move this over here I want this to be right in the middle view for you okay all right let's start with our first Nepenthes let's start with the uh, 
the Spectabilis platicilla. Okay, so what you do basically, I'm gonna bring this down over here so you can see it better, is you are going to unwrap this guy like this. And I know I call all my plants this guy. It's just a bad habit, I'm sorry. It's not like a guy or a girl thing, it's just a word that I use. I call my kids guy. So, you see it. It's been sitting in this for a few days now being shipped, so it's a kind of a nice tight little package, which is kind of cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our sphagnum moss here, and we're going to kind of wrap it around this plant like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep wrapping this nice and tight until it gets to be about the width of the pot. Make sure that when it goes in there, you gotta kinda stuff it down in there. There we go, see that? Perfect, look at that. That is beautiful. What a cool, cool plant. And then you just wanna get a little bit of this and just kinda fill it in here, just to make sure that it's all Nice, tight and compact. Not super, I'm, I shouldn't say tight and compact. That's not true. You don't want this to be super tight and compact. That's a little too much, I don't want that. Um, you want this to be um, kind of loose. You want the water to be able to go through this. So the tighter you get it, the, I'm gonna actually rip this one off a little bit here. There we go. A little bit in there. Nice and snug for my beautiful little brand new Nepenthes plant that I'm just ex so excited to get into my windowsill. Uh, so I'm going to put these guys in a west facing window. I have a Nepenthes Ventrata that's going right there and it is it is just killing it in this windowsill. Um, now I know these plants are a little bit different and they might need a little more humidity, a little more sun, um, but I'm going to go ahead and try putting them there and then I'm, oh wow, I'm so sorry, I just realized that I wasn't even in the camera frame. Um, that was silly, I'm sorry about that. So I'm going to uh, put these in my west facing window for a couple days. I'm actually gonna order some lights here pretty soon. And uh, I'm going to be probably giving these guys some extra light. And I'm also gonna try to give them some conditions where they're getting a little more humidity than just in a windowsill. So if, the, if they don't cut it in the windowsill, um, I definitely have some uh, other options for them. But let's see, is that a, looks like that might be a root. You probably need to get this root if that's what that is. I think that is a root. There we go. There we go. Okay, I think that one's done, guys. Check that out. Beautiful. I just love that picture. I am going to be in love with this plant. That is really cool. I can't wait till this one gets bigger. Okay, so I'll take this out here in a little bit. I'll give it a little extra water. Let's go ahead and get the rest of these guys in here. And I'm so sorry that I wasn't in in very good frame on the last one. I'll try to be better um, and not pull out a frame while I'm talking so you guys have something to look at and not just listening to me babble here. I need to make sure I put that tag back in too. Let's do that real quick before I get too far here. Okay. Right, let's grab some of this moss. Let's start wrapping this guy. Guys, this is kind of messy, so make sure you do this in a place where you don't mind uh, kind of making a little bit of a mess. Got a little extra water on it there, which is fine for, right now these guys are gonna need a little more water than they might normally anyway right now because they've been in transit. There we go, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and put them down in here. Go look at that. Oh, you know, we got a hole. I'm gonna pull this up again real quick. I want to make sure that that, if this is a root here, I want this root to be down in the pot. There we go. Let's try that again. There we go. 
Man, look at that. What a cool plant. I don't even think I need to fill this one in. It'll actually have a little bit of extra down here. I'll put this kind of in there, but yeah, I got this little this little guy here. This is my only picture on this one. Just one little lonely picture. See, I think that's focusing for you. That's a that's going to be a neat plant too. Uh, these ones are also going to get spots, um, if I understand correctly. The uh, I looked these ones up, and they they do get the the big spots on there. So um, I don't know if that one just needs a little bit more time to mature or whatever. But yeah, you know the, that's kind of the cool thing with these plants is sometimes they're just all a little bit different. And even though you order a specific uh, cold far of these, you just never really know, you know, what you're going to get with these nepenthes and. Even the exact two same types of species can just be very different. And I think that's just one of the coolest things about these plants. I love them. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on to my dudes. My dudes. My dude dudes. Sorry, I'm a dad. I got dad jokes. Hold on. I'm going to add the rest of my moss in here. Let's see if I can get that soaking real quick. Put that under. stuff's kind of mixed in there. I should have just did it all at the same time, but that's all right. There we go. Okay. So that out. Go. Okay. You're up, sun dudes. All right. Let's start with this guy, my little Alba. Oh man, I cannot wait to put these out. In my kitchen I'll probably be having these guys under lights most of the time but I think I'm gonna give them some time in my kitchen just to catch um, some gnats we have a, we have a little bit of gnats in the kitchen right now and I want to make sure that these guys get well fed I'm actually going to put this here real quick I forgot to put my tag in here. Go. Okay. actually I've seen some um, in the groups that I'm in, I've seen some people purposely leaving like a banana peel on the counter. Or I don't know if it's their counter. I just assumed, I guess. But like a banana peel next to their their sundew or even their pitchers or whatever. Um, and and it, their pitchers are just, or their little sundews are just full of gnats, which is kind of cool. Um, so I might try something like that, but we'll see. Maybe I'll do a video and show you guys my rotten banana peel on my counter. I'm sure my wife will be super excited about that idea. There we go, look at that. Yeah, cool. Okay. Same same process, guys. I know I keep moving that out of out of your view. Sorry about that. Um, same process here. Let's go ahead and wrap it up. Make sure it gets. Oops. Didn't want to do that. Bottom fell off of that. It should be. That's no big deal. Let's get some. Here. Wrap some around the bottom. Make sure that that stays above it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down into the planter here. Pop this guy, if I remember right. I haven't grown sundews in such a long time, um, but I think I'm probably going to do a, a peat moss and uh, perlite mix for for my sundews. Uh, I don't know for sure. I'll need to do probably do a little bit of research just to make sure. But I think that I wanted to do a peat moss. And sorry. Perfect. That. Come on, move. 
Move this way just a little bit. There we go. Awesome. There's my sundew. Little alba. Oh wait, that didn't point very good. There we go. Looks awesome. Okay, last one, guys. I think this video is dragging on a little bit, and I'm sorry about that. Um, but if you're any, any much of a nerd or carnivorous plant nerd design, you're probably enjoying watching these little guys get into their new forever homes. Look at that beautiful. I love the red on that guy. The Venusta. And he's already eat, he's already been eating. You can see a little one there, a little one over here. Very cool. Okay, so let's unwrap this guy so I can wrap this up. I'm gonna have some moss left over. Quite a bit actually. Guess I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna make a long I should have did this a long time ago, I'm so sorry. Should have done that a very long time ago. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this guy wrapped up. Fiber sphagnum, 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 I don't know. Tomato, tomato, right? There we go. Maybe just a little bit more over here. Okay, let's see if we can drop him into the pot. Of course, now that I've moved the camera, the pot is harder to see. There we go. And to your new pot. Sundew. There we go. Look at that. Oh man, I love these. It's been so long since I've had a sundew, and I'm so excited that I'm in a position to be able to grow these guys again. Awesome. Guys, I should have probably did this a long time ago, but um, if you if you like these plants, uh, if you like this video, even though this one's dragging out just a little bit, um, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm really working toward one day having a carnivorous plant uh, nursery for my within my community. Uh, that's really my, my, my long-term goal right now, and I'm just kind of using this YouTube platform um, as a way to kind of bring content to you guys and also for me to kind of learn um, even more than I already know about these, these awesome plants. I'm just always learning. Um, there's so much to know and so much to learn with all these different types of carnivorous plants and I just love all of them and I'm excited to bring you this stuff but uh, if you subscribe to my channel if you like this video all that stuff really helps me a lot uh, in my sort of eventual goal of, of, of owning a nursery um, I really appreciate you being here and, and any support that you can offer me is just so much appreciated um, what I like to do with this channel is most of the time I'm bringing you lots of updates on these plants I'm just trying to show you any any of the cool stuff that my plants are doing, uh, milestones that they're gaining from the time that they're planted like this, uh, for the time that they're growing. Uh, so I'm constantly bringing updates. You can check out. I've got. Uh, I rescued some carnivorous plants from uh, Lowe's and Walmart, and I have those videos up for you guys. So if you want to check that out and uh, see how those plants are doing, um, they're all on my channel so uh, definitely check it out uh, I know a lot of people get those those the Venus flight traps from Walmart and Lowe's or whatever and they need help on on how to how to take care of them so I've got kind of a little experiment video going on and that's actually what kind of sucked me back into carnivorous plants was me finding um, sort of a little haul that I got between Lowe's and uh, Walmart the other day a couple months ago uh, I've been planning on getting carnivorous plants and getting back into it, uh, but I was kind of waiting for the right time, but those little plants, they kind of forced me into it being the right time now. So uh, yeah, so I've started up this obsession again and I'm absolutely loving it. I've got a nice Nepenthes ventrata that's grown out in my kitchen. Uh, it's doing really awesome. I've been giving updates on that. I got a Saracenia purpurea that's been growing out there and then some uh, various Venus flytrap species. Uh, they're just typical. Um, they're a little different from each other, but it's just a, a, a typical, there's nothing really super special about them or anything other than the fact that I love them because they're mine. But yeah, uh, thanks a lot guys, check that out. That's awesome and 
thanks for being here and thanks for checking out my channel and like I said anything you can do to support me and my channel is is much appreciated so yeah we'll catch you later bye